welcome back. <laughs> and so, I, oh, hold on, I forgot. Hello. I am back again. I was kind of mentioned that I will do a video of idea book. So I just want to show you what. <laughs> So far, I have three that I've been using. These I use a lot. Um, this little one. Oops, sorry. Um, this one I made with this this book. My friend gave it to me, and I did it. Um, uh, Nineteen nine. Yeah, it's about a year. Twenty nineteen. Um, so I I didn't alter but I did keep the shape of the book cover and all that and and I add the signature uh, so this one is like um, inspired by Pinterest so mostly um, you know I I do like go through and pin pin in Pinterest but I'm not always on there like I'm not always like trying to find something but I do like to like cruise in my own time and when I see something I um, I keep it and then I print them out and I select them in a bunch and then I print out in like a small images and then I glue in my idea book so just when I when time come to create a journal, I just like to flip through, or if I lost mojo or something, I just I I rather open book like this rather than go through the phone and look through Pinterest. So this is my idea book that I have. So that's my little one, and I I have so many of these book left. I might make a few book. Um, I make I make a few journal from that, and this one I I have this one a couple years ago. Um, my in law they having like um anniversary, and I was planning to make this for for their like party, like you know the like guest sign check and like when what do you call that book guest book right? So and then they decided. That I should not be involved in so I was really upset and I didn't go to that party <laughs> um, anyway um, so I kept these and then I use it for my just like um, a draw sometime I just sit around and like what I should be doing like this one I that's like um it's just like it's just fun right you just do some drawing like some pockets and that's kind of thing like this one like you know it just give you some idea and <laughs> I think I did this book on on the channel I'm not quite sure but I think I'm pretty sure we did this in the in my YouTube look at <laughs> When I learned how to do tome, um, I just watched a bunch of video on YouTube and and um, and I just like practicing. I used to do like um, Pringle, <laughs> um, spray the cardboard and then wrap, wrap around the Pringle and let it dry and then it stay curved and so many things. But I watch uh, one lady. She she do the score. So which we would do the today. We will use that technique. Um, so but anyway, this idea book is for uh, my happy mail or swap that I have um, over the year. Like this one from Kim. Kim, if you watch this, I love your card. It's a happy mail. Make me happy, happy. So I just use some. Um, whatever um, book that um, paper that we have like this one like it's an ugly paper <laughs> cardstock so I kind of tea dyed them and and use them uh, because it has a stronger um, 
it's it's more it's heavier so so all the mail that I swap or people send me happy mail and stuff like that I come in here and this is I just received yesterday from Liz thank you so much you're such a wonderful you've been I know Liz since uh, my daughter was eight 10, 10, 10, yeah, about 10. So it's been 11 years. <laughs> and then this is from Lori, girl on the ridge. So thank you. And so I still, still have like lots of room, but then, um, you know, it's getting too heavy because I use such a heavy paper. But I still like adding stuff to it. And um, this is because of, um, because of the book so big. Uh, I I glue this page to another cardstock and I kind of leave it as a pocket so I can tuck stuff in there and you know <laughs> Peter Rabbit the giant children book I love it yeah so that's like um that's the idea book that I have so far so today we're gonna do uh, a nine nine by six one and um, if you want to do and follow along with me that's heavy <laughs> if you want to follow along uh, with me and um, want to use the same images that I have shoot me an email and I will send this to you I just I create this file from a book that I found on the Library of Congress, thank goodness, <laughs> we can access online, and it's the book Flower Emblem from the Snowdrop to the Holly. Um, so I thought I would use that to make the cover, and then I make the spine to, oh, is the spine bigger than, why is my spine bigger than, Maybe I didn't enlarge these to six inches. I might have to stop the video, guys. And make sure I have the right size. Yeah, this is eight and a half. Because I want to make a nine by six. And this one. Yeah, okay. I'm going to resize and um, to 9 by 6 so I will stop and then I will continue okay just going to fix this for a bit okay so 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 sorry um, I don't think you miss me that much <laughs> um, so what you will need if you want to do the same book uh, send me an email. My email is in the description box. Took make it at gmail.com and I will send you these files. So there's seven images. So there's cover, front and back, and then there's a spine. And then I give two choice of um, end paper. I, I did not show you the other one um, because I didn't print it out. Uh, the green marble. That uh, similar green to these so that's first what you need this image and you're gonna need um, a card cardboard um, I'm gonna use this cover um, so it's not it's very soft the, in the front but that's okay that will um, fit the size this book is six and a half by nine and a half and one quarter, so perfect. Basket, and then this card, um, it's called cover stock, not a card stock, it's a cover stock, 110 uh, pound, so it's pretty thick. Um, and uh, just some card, Board. This is uh, from the back end of the sketching paper and uh, some fabric for the out hinge. So this is like um, a very thin muslin. 
I don't like to use um, thick muslin because it would be too stiff and crack at the at the spine. So that's what we need. A scoreboard, of course, the stylus for score. Glue, I'm using fabric tag and black gesso. And today we're just going to prep all the paper and cardboard. So let's start it because I'm already waste time earlier. <laughs> bad, right? I am so bad. Um, we need to cut these um, nine inches. So I'm going to use a lot of um, box cutter, not the um, cutter, not like um, a trimmer, I mean. So. so our spine is seven, uh, is two and three quarter of an inch, two and three quarter. So we want uh, four, five, we want five inch wide. Um, you can go more. I, I'm just gonna go with five and you will see why. Because this is the spine that we're gonna make. It's kind of like a tome, tome book. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sew through the spine or I sh I'm gonna do a hidden spine, but so we'll go with the flow for now. So this is five by nine. I should get a bigger scoreboard. Hold on. If you can avoid you buy both, <laughs> you get the big one, get big scoreboard. Because I start making card, right? Um, so all I need is a small scoreboard. But then when I start to make um, journal, then I need this big scoreboard. So the spine is two and a half, two and three quarter. So I'm gonna give. Um, I think it's one inch that I allow. Score on one inch and then score again on um, one quarter of an inch. So now I have three and a quarter and then, ooh, I left a lot on this side, but that's okay. So, oh no, that's not it. That's not it, sorry guys. That's it's only give me one and three quarter, so I have to be at, up here. Oh, oh, that's tight. So if you haven't cut, please cut five and a half. Okay, this is leave me a really small flap. So cut it five and a half. So I cut, I score one inch, a quarter of an inch. And then two and then three quarter of an inch from here to here. And then another quarter of an inch. And whatever left, I short I short a quarter of an inch short to be the same. So make sure you get you can go um, five and one quarter, then you will have left over the same. So that's what we got. So I'm gonna start folding here so right now I'm just gonna fold this first and then we're gonna go back and score it again okay but I just thought I come and do this first so I don't confuse you with that score mark so now we're gonna get um, this is if we don't do a curved spine, this will give you a flat spine. So the idea is that um, if you have a little bit left, that would be great. 
So these, this is for the spine, right? I mean, <laughs> why would I do that? So I am going to cut, cut these. Hold on, just so you see, see better, have a better vision. Um, a wonderful uh, weekend. We drove out to get some stuff that we store away at my in-laws. So that was a rough ride. It was heavy rain. So this is what it's going to look like. That's the back and so we want to do the curved spine so what we can do it for it to curve we put it back down and we're gonna score every um, a quarter of an inch we will score Now you get all these score mark and then you can start curving. Okay. And this is why you don't need a like a really thick thick cardboard or anything like that. So now um, I am going to glue this down. Okay, just to to help, um, what do you call them, um, cover the score line and also add the strength to to the flap, to the hinge, to our hinge. So you can you can add these and cover and then leave it for a bit so that we have some we can cut it off later. So now we're done with the scoreboard. this down so I'm gonna use this and use my spatula so put glue all over it because we want it all cover I mean if you have um, tie wax you can use tie wax as well right because it, this the fabric is just to help strengthen the the hinge or the spine I think it should be enough make sure the groove these get really covered because that's it will be abused the most. Whoo, strong. <laughs> this is why I use them less and less. I love our glitter glue. Strong, strong. I think I didn't have enough glue in there. It's okay to have um, glue seep through because these will be all covered. So make sure, just make sure that your 
fabric really glue down, no bubble, no... Yeah, usually I get these done at the edge really bubble up. So, we'll let that dry and then we'll deal with that. Next, we should be getting all the pieces cut. Oops, let's put this away. Well, all, <laughs> all the stairs now are scratched <laughs> so bad. And because of Darcy, he won't go down the stair at all. And he, like, because it's intense, right? His paw grab really hard on the stair. So it's like, he, he put all the marks on the stair. So what I did, um, he has a lot of towel. <laughs> So what I did, I I use his towel and wrap around the stair, just the corner where he likes to go down, and then I train him to go up and down there. So yeah, so he crazy crazy dog. <laughs> now he will go down. Okay, um, we are going to glue this down to make it uh, thicker. So we're going to glue down because it's semi-gloss so I am going to use this glue rather than the other glue that I have. Oops. And, and I add the, the dressmaker in my shop. I hope you have a chance to take a look at them. And uh, <laughs> very, very, very romantic. I update a few photo on them. Cause some of them, my first design didn't really go. So I changed a bit. And I finish design the TN for July and I'm working on August now and it's nothing special so I'm just using the similar the same kit that I use in my full kit so I don't know if I mentioned I am going to do July is going to be um, a, a sewing kit. August is going to be a boho. And um, September is going to be a nature theme. It could be, um, what do you call, uh, a woodland, uh, a nature walk. Like, so that's what I have in mind. But I I have not designed a September paper yet, but I do I do have a plan for it. Okay, this is nice and thick. We could ink it up. So if you want it to be like a real fancy and all that, you could emboss the gold around I might I might tr try to see if um, if that um, if feasible <laughs> I have gold embossing and I have a pen so we 
we could try try and error together so this meant to go on here right so that's our spine but not we're not there yet we're not there yet so now the spine's done now we get we got our back cover cut now let's do the front cover We haven't, we don't really need these till the next step, so I could put that away so I don't cut it by accident. Right now, my next project is the Peter Rabbit. I pull out the material and everything that I collecting. So I'm not gonna show the process or anything, but um, because it's, I want to get it all done and show you, and then maybe doing some. Um, ephemera to go in uh, together but um, making a journal maybe not I think this will be more interested interesting for you like to make this idea book I know everybody is doing it right now but um, I am in the need of it because <laughs> um, my small one is full but my big one is really for Happy mail and so, so I'm kind of in the need of it. There, we got our. Done and now we prepare for the board, the book board, I mean the cover, the real cover. I am using all book cover, the one that really beat up and this is very wobble and soft cardstock on the shipboard. It may not work, but. Let's see what's inside. Knife it kind of dull. very flimsy not hard at all so maybe I'll use it for the inside okay let's see I am going to cut that part off we are going to make sure we got it right the same size so so we've got the cardstock chipboard whatever you call them remember when you cut the 
chip for it. Just lightly go and go many times as you need it. There's no need to press really hard because that that what that will make it slip easily. Trying to find the hardest um, area to be your your front front edge, the outside edge. This one, yeah. This one. So we need to measure with the back part. See the book is not straight, right? Because it's all book, so that's why you have to measure, like, to get exact same size. I mean, same um, shape. It's so nice. Also, he's kind of hang outside <laughs> all morning. down to get him once but he won't come in. wrong side didn't I back That's going back so next steps uh, we are going to gesso black gesso or if you don't have black gesso you could um, use acrylic paint black paint i use gesso because it dry quick and it's um really <laughs> dry really quick and um also it's like really opaque so we just want to paint and cover so we don't see if you want um green go ahead and paint green um but I like black or brown. Um, if you have white gesso, you can add um, black ink to to your gesso. Just bring out a little bit 
and then add black gesso I mean black ink to your gesso or brown to make it brown Actually, I put the, the cloth down too quick. I should attach these first before I put the cloth down. I skip, so I might need another cloth. You will see. Why did I say that? So make sure we cover. Okay, now we let that dry. This is for this is for outside. Also pull out my fabric, <laughs> and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make a bundle. Um, that will be pink and blue bundle. Ah, spring cleaning. <laughs> I just uh, have to try to to sustain this space, right? I am either make journal crazy, go crazy and make lots of journals so I can get rid of the stuff or I de stash. Yes. a couple books on book binding and techniques and stuff like that um, it was given to me by my husband uh, and uh, by um, my stepdaughter so. okay I'm gonna use it again. So we'll let. Oh, why did I do that? I just grabbed it. Um, so, this is what I do wrong. I wonder if I should. Oh, yeah, I can. I can pull up this a bit. This should be. Go down first. Don't do like I do. <laughs> Just um, when you glue down the fabric, glue down the center only, or wait till you attach. Um, is this the front? Yeah. Um, attach this piece down, and the fabric will go up. Okay, so that's what it should be. So it's kind of half dry, the gesso, but that's okay. We can continue.
So put the glue down as much as you can and make sure you line up these with the score line here. Am I in the screen at all? It's going to be messy, okay? This is like, make sure you cover your table or you wear glove if you don't like your hand. I like my hand on. I Sometimes when I do like um, stained fabric and stuff, I will wear glove, but not at the time. I don't know why. I like to feel what I'm working on. It's just... Am I a control freak? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Should be using that. Okay. Folder. done. Let's see if I can pull back. Bad, bad. This is how poor planning. <laughs> oh, I know I want to do this style, but and I just like, okay, let's pull out some book, old book cover and see what we can do or what we can find. And then I found these. It's perfect. Blue would have been nicer. <laughs> okay. Wait, like if it's nice this weekend, I can't wait to work in the garden a bit. I mean, tomorrow I can see how nice it is. I might, I might um, work outside and do some. die if it's not windy. Thank you um, everyone for purchasing the journal and um, for the person who buy the journal and then uh, I am packing it tonight and will mail off tomorrow. Super excited. So we are going to close this down.
it's really feel like this book got water damage or moisture it's so s soft and I hope it it's not gonna fall apart on me <laughs> I should have left it long so another mistake guys leave it longer like it should be enough I just have too long at the bottom there <sighs> there we got this ready like now what I would do to these I'm gonna Paint it black. Just here. Not everywhere, right? Just the edge of it. You just want to make sure that. Um, you won't see the white peek through, that's all. I just made this up as we go. <laughs> From, but using the experience from I learned from so many people like um, when I first um, made this tome I made journal for my daughter and I made for a few friends it really nice um, turned out super nice and then later on I I thought I learn from the master from Nick later on like last March I think I was July I think it was last July just to see what she do differently you know you can always learn it from everywhere like even though they use a similar technique but you know the result sometimes something that you not think about so it's good it's good to take course and learn you know and then for my sake it's like really to see if I <laughs> if I do it right you know what I mean because you just learn from this person, from that person, and then you just don't know why you're not turned out, what did you do wrong, and... Any class you take, like, you know, you, you don't want to learn to be them, you want to learn to, the technique so that you can use and adapt to your own um, style and you know build on your skill right so and that's what I think to make it worthwhile of your money and time something that you can build on I think Zoe um, she made like really um, detail on how to do tom in her style. I, I can link her video below. Uh, I, I do link her technique all the time when I do tom because that's the very first, not very first, like um, I learned from a guy like uh, old technique like ancient book binding video I learned from there with my very first tome and then I saw Soyi and then and then I start learning from and then another lady her video is not active anymore but her Etsy shop still up 
update. Maybe she moved her channel or something. But I see she posts new journal on her essay, but I don't see her video update. And then when I click on it, it said um, video's uh, channel is private. I have to double check again. Okay, I have a I always keep a jar of bottle there, a water there to keep just to so I have a place to drop off a dirty brush right away. So I think that's that's good. So that's good for today, I think. And tomorrow we will come and do the next steps. So the next step is going to be like um, try to curve this in, um, glue and curve. And this is the front. This is the back. I hope you you see what I'm trying to do here, right? And um, you know, you if you have a gold pen, you can go around. I mean. If you want to use the same pattern as me, right? So that's it. Okay, we will come and continue tomorrow. And I need to go <laughs> wash my hands. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming and join me. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.